here friends and welcome to part two of this week's sermon message. So we just found out that Paul and Silas were thrown into the dark dungeon in the prison. And they, but even in that dark moment, Paul and Silas continued to pray and sing praises to God. They had joy knowing God was there with them, even in prison. So instead of being sad and afraid and, you know, angry about their situation, they just had joy and peace in their heart. God, the Holy Spirit was helping them. As Paul and Silas prayed to God, the other prisoners listened to them. Suddenly, an amazing thing happened. In the Bible, it says, Suddenly there was a, such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chain came, became loose. That's amazing. In a matter of seconds, everything changed. A great earthquake shook the prison. Everyone... And earthquakes can be scary, but God showed his power by causing this earthquake to accomplish his plan. He caused the earth to shake so hard that all the doors of the prison flew open. Say it with me. God's power is amazing. Now, Paul and Silas could escape, but did they? What would you do if you were Paul and Silas? Would you escape? The noise and confusion from the earthquake woke the jailer, the guards. He was horrified when he saw the prison doors flew open. Oh no, he could be put to death if his prisoners escaped. The frightened guard or the jailer was so upset, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself. Wait, don't hurt yourself. We're all here, Paul shouted. Instead of escaping, all the prisoners stay, stayed in their jail. They could have escaped, but Paul and Silas knew that God had even a bigger plan. The jailer grabbed a light and ran into the dungeon. He was shaking with fear and fell down in front of Paul and Silas. Quickly, he brought them out of the inner prison and how relieved and grateful he must have been. Paul and Silas saved his life by not escaping. The guard, the jailer, wanted to know about this God who caused men to be full of joy and peace even in hard times. He said, sir, would you, you, know, would you tell me what must I do to be saved? So then Paul said, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. He, if he believed, if the jailer believed, trust completely on the Lord Jesus who had died for his sins, he would also be forgiven and he would be saved. And guess what happened next? The jailer believed and what joy he had. He accepted Jesus as his savior. A change had taken place. The man who had been Paul and Silas's guard or jailer um, now took him now took them to his home where they shared their good news of Jesus with his family who also believed then the jailer and his family asked to be baptized to show their belief in Jesus God turned Paul and Silas's hard experience and difficult situation into joy and victory as the jailer and his family responded to God's good news the next day, Paul and Silas were set free by the rulers because God allowed them to go through that hard time. The jailer and his family were saved and God the Holy Spirit helped them to have joy and peace. So the next time when you go through tough, tough times and you're in a very difficult situation, don't just complain and grumble, but pray and ask God for his joy, his peace, and for God to be with you because he always is. And perhaps, through those difficult times, something good may come out of it. God might be using you to, God might be using you um, so that others may believe on Jesus and will get to hear about God's good news.